mankind has nothing tangible to give to God. It is generally believed by many Christians that one can please God by the contribution of money and material things in the congregation of the righteous. For some, it has become the norm that obeying the nominational doctrine on making financial and material contribution uh, described variously as uh, seed planting, love offering and donations can sustain salvation, attract material prosperity, cause one to abide in Christ and determine one's position in heaven after this life. You see, one mistake falling humanity or falling human beings actually make is to think they are too important to God. They think they have something God so desperately needs to make for boasting. Adam in the Garden of Eden had a right standing with God. He did not give God anything. It was God who came down from heaven and delighted in having fellowship with Adam in the cool of the day. Adam's transgression, of course, brought that to an end. The attitude of falling mankind is usually, what shall we do? that we may walk the works of God. Man wants to do something, offer something to prove self to be worthy. Now, the answer Jesus gave to the Jews when they asked him that question clearly indicates that from God's perspective, human activity is not the yardstick for determining relevance in the kingdom of God. In John chapter 6, Let's read from verse 28, John chapter 6, from verse 28. The Bible says, Then they said to him, What shall we do that we may walk the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he sent. God expects his created beings to walk with him and not walk for him. You see, no one can walk for God. God expects mankind to submit, obey, and worship him. The worship of God is obedience to his will. Adam worshipped God in spirit and truth because the ingredient of worship resided in his controller, the implanted hypostatic chip that made him a son of God. When he sinned, the hypostatic chip was withdrawn, and he lost the attribute that made him a son of God.